absolute value equations and inequalities. Absolute value says let A represent a real number, then the absolute value of A is equal to A if it's greater than or equal to zero, and negative A if it's less than zero. Basically, it's the distance on a number line from a number to zero. And since distance cannot be negative, the absolute value is always a positive or a zero. Um, to reiterate that, let's say if, I, if this is my zero, um, and I asked you, and I say, what number is two units from zero? What number is two units from zero? You could tell me two is. But you could also tell me negative two because it's two units from zero as well. So in this case, we see that uh, we have two answers for what number is two units from zero on a number line. So our first set of examples is just what is the absolute value? So the absolute value of 2 is just positive 2. The absolute value of negative 2, we're talking about distance, is 2, positive 2. In this case, the absolute value of 2 is 2, but this negative just gets carried down in front, so my answer is negative 2. Same thing with number four, absolute value of negative two is positive two because absolute value is always positive. But this negative is floating out front so it just gets carried down. Make sure you understand the distinction between the solutions to each of those. So next we're going to be solving absolute value equations. Since absolute value represents distance from zero on a number line, Solving absolute value equations requires solving two possibilities. It's kind of like looking in this direction at the positive, looking at this direction. So when we look at that on number five, it's saying what number is three units from zero? Well, three and negative three is going to be our solution. In this case, this is saying absolute value, which is something that's always positive, is equal to some negative number. Well, we know that's a false solution because absolute value is always positive, so that's going to be false or no solution. Okay, we move down at number two, um, seven, and I'm going to say absolute value is by itself. It's equal to a positive number. I'm ready to evaluate this, so I'm going to do 5 minus 3x equals 12. I write it the first time exactly like it is without the absolute value bars. And then the second time, I write the left hand side's the same, and then I'm going to do negative 12. So it's like looking in the positive direction and in the negative direction. So now we just solve these equations as we normally would algebraically and get x by itself. Divide both sides by negative 3. So negative 7 thirds is one of our answers. And then we'll come over here to the second equation. Then divide both sides by negative 3. Positive 17 thirds. So our two answers are negative 7 thirds and positive 17 thirds. On number 8, we have absolute value is equal to absolute value. We take and we want to break this apart. Write it the first time exactly as it is without the absolute value bars. And then the next one, the left hand side is always the same. And then we do opposite of whatever's on the right. In this case, because it's all grouped together, I want to make sure that I have parentheses. Okay. I'm going to solve this by moving all my variables to one side. So you get 2x plus 2 equals negative 5. Solve for x, so I want to subtract 2 from both sides. Then divide both sides by 2 and x equals negative 7 halves. That's one of my solutions. And then over here, 
I want to remember to distribute this negative, and that's why it's very important that we have a parenthesis. So I have 3x plus 2 is equal to negative x plus 5. Add x to both sides, so I get 4x plus 2 is equal to 5. Solve for x. Still trying to get x by itself. 5 minus 2 is a 3, then divide both sides by 4. x equals 3 fourths. So my two answers are negative 7 halves and positive 3 fourths. Alright, we continue on to the next page. So absolute value is by itself, and then it equals a positive number. So I'm ready to evaluate it and break it apart into two problems. I do it the first time exactly the same without the bars, and the next time the left hand side is always the same, but the right hand side is going to be negative 5. Alright, now this one we don't like that there's a fraction, so we're going to multiply through by the denominator, which is a 2. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. Now. This 2 will cancel this 2, so you're just left with x minus 4 is equal to 2 times 5 is 10. And we're solving this equation for x. So in this case, we're going to get x is equal to 14. And we're going to do likewise to the other equation. We don't like that there's a fraction, so we're going to multiply by a 2. Whatever you do to one side, do to the other. This 2 cancels this 2, so I'm left with x minus 4 equals negative 10. Solve for x. So my two solutions for number 9 are going to be 14 and negative 6. 10, we're going to do likewise. The absolute value is by itself meaning there's nothing over here and nothing over there, so 2x plus 3, 3x minus 4 is equal to 1, and then we're going to do the left hand side is always the same, and the right hand side is going to be negative. Now in this case it might look a little bit complicated, so what we're going to do is make this a fraction by putting it over 1 and then just cross multiply. 1 times 2x plus 3 is just 2x plus 3. 3x minus 4 times 1 is just 3x minus 4. Subtract 3. Negative x is equal to negative 7. We don't want negative x, we want positive. So divide both sides by negative 1. And we find out that x is equal to 7. Now we're going to jump up here to this other side. We're going to cross multiply. Just get 2x plus 3. And this one's going to be negative 1 times Make sure you're careful with your parentheses so we distribute this correctly. Bring down my left hand side. Distribute. A negative times a negative is a positive. Start solving for x. I'm going to move 3x to this side so that I get all my variables on the left. Subtract 3. Five x is equal to one. Divide both sides by five. X is equal to one fifth. Okay, so you get x is seven and x is one fifth.